In this series, we are going to be starting from absolutely nothing and trying to acquire all the riches that Los Santos has to offer. Welcome to Broke to Ballin'. Hello there guys, welcome back to Broke to Ballin' and welcome to the December DLC update. It is the Chop Shop update, I think that's the name, or at least that's the name that comes up when you look at the new vehicles and the mission set. But if we look down here on the map, we have a new thing. I don't know what these are called, a new mission set from your man, Yusuf Amir. And yes, before you roast me, I didn't realize that this was a character from GTA 4 because I never played the Ballad of Gay Tony DLC, so apologies about being an idiot. Salvage Yard Robberies. Now, this is a business that you can buy on Maze Bank, and it's a salvage yard, which is what we expected. There's still no trailer or no newswire at the time I am recording this, so I don't really have any extra information on it apart from the stuff that's in the game right now. So we're going to have to go ahead and discover it for ourselves. Luckily, we have $6 million in the bank to go ahead and get started. So why don't we open up the business website, Maze Bank Foreclosures, and go ahead and buy ourselves a new business. In fact, there's actually quite a few locations. There's not just three, there is... Sorry, there's not just one, there is five. So there's a location in Polita for 1.6 mil. There's a location over here for 2 million. God, price is ramping up real quick. We have one down here for 2.4, one here for 2.5, and one here for 2.6. God damn, that's expensive. I think even though this location is kind of like more iconic in a sense, I'm tempted to go with this one because location-wise is better. It's also right next to my auto shop. So, uh, I don't really no like i kind of want to do this one because it's you know it's the iconic location yeah screw it why not probably a bad decision but i don't really care i'm gonna make it orange get trade rates what does this mean connections to local businesses are priceless yet surprisingly affordable which is why for a one-off payment you'll receive discounts on all claims with moore's motor moore's mutual and repairing vehicles at ls customs so you get you have to pay four hundred fifty thousand dollars to get better rates when you get your vehicle destroyed i don't know if that's worth it i'm sure someone will do the math in the future but i'm gonna leave that off for now because it doesn't seem worth it to me now we do have the tow truck here why is one cheaper than the other what why is the tow truck a beta cheaper than the tow truck whatever i'm gonna go for the tow truck the more expensive one obviously i'm gonna assume this is just like obviously we use it for the business but it must be some sort of an upgrade on something we'd use otherwise because otherwise why would it be here it doesn't really matter tow truck we'll take it wall safe okay enough to store up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. so similar to the mc business or i'm assuming the agency where you can save up money in here and then finally we have staff which i can get for another six hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. so all in all uh, if you don't get the trade rates for everything else this business costs 5.2 million dollars what the f that is so much more than i was expecting i think for now just for the sake of me having some money to buy a vehicle i'm not going to get the wall safe still four and a half million which is a crazy amount of money but it, we have some left over at least i guess let's buy it and cry in a corner because of all the money i've wasted Well, I'm concerned. Now, considering I'm back down to under 2 million, I don't know if I can even really afford to buy the new vehicles yet. I was only going to buy one of them. And I think if I remember correctly from when I checked, it's over $2 million. Yep, nearly $3 million. So I won't be getting this straight away. Probably we'll go ahead and get that next episode once I grind some money back. And this episode will just focus on the new business. See how it works. See if it's profitable. See if it's any fun. I'd hope at least one of those is true. Otherwise pain one thing i would really like to see or i'm really interested to know and we'll find out soon obviously is how this is going to be any different from the other vehicle businesses we have because in the ceo business we obviously have the vehicle warehouse and then we also have the auto shop which has some similar features so how exactly is this going to be unique it seems to be some sort of shop shop like I said, where you bring in cars and sell them, which is pretty much what the vehicle warehouse in the CEO business is. Again, I guess we'll find out as soon as we start up these missions, but I have absolutely no idea what to expect. But here is my salvage yard. Let's go inside. Or, or not. Why can't I go inside? What What's happening? Do I have to clear out the gang members first? Why would that be a thing? Is this game broken already? <laughs> what's going on? Um. Okay, I'm going to assume it has something to do with the gang war here. So I'm going to kill them first. Yep, okay. I think it's because I triggered the gang war accidentally. Maybe that's why it's not working. Bit stupid to have a gang attack right where their business is. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. 
All right, cool. Gang, well done. A, a bit of an annoyance when I'm trying to start the business and make a video, but you know, sure, why not? That's the first one of those I've ever done. I, and by that, I think I mean I've genuinely never done that in GTA ever. So, um, cool, I guess. All right, what's gonna happen? Cutscene? You betcha. And my hair is back to shit again. What a surprise. Every goddamn time. Yo, 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 yo! There you are, my homie. Oh, God. Yusuf Amir in the house! Mate, don't- not with a Uzi in your hand, please, for the love of God. Don't kill yourself. Everything's perfect. Actually, fully intentional. Mate, not at me, please. I want you to take this man under your wing. Do I have to? I'm kind of a lone wolf. And by that, I mean I'm lonely. But, you know, the title still works. I find a way, then I will add it to your list here on the computer. Why is a computer from 1993? I definitely have enough money to buy like a, a MacBook or something, guys. Jesus Christ. I look forward to you being in touch. Peace out. Let's go. You should check out the computer stuff. It's all set up for you. Super sweet, bro. Oh, I mean boss. Well, that was one of the most concerning, strange, and strange cutscenes I've seen in GTA. But let's get into it. We have to register as a boss because of course we do. Motorcycle Club President. And now let's get on to planning my heist stealing mission. I still don't know what these are called, but we'll figure it out, I guess. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So from what I gather, this is kind of like a mini vehicle heist. So you get three vehicles here, as you can see, that each have a value you can sell at. Kind of similar to the CEO business. We have low value, medium value, and high value. And you pick one and go steal them. But I assume it's not just a single stealing mission. I have a feeling it's going to be very similar to the auto shop where you have some setups and then actually getting the vehicle. But I don't know why I'm assuming I can just click X here and actually figure it out so let's do that are you sure you want to steal this vehicle you betcha all right so initial scope out mission where we have to go to mission row i'm really bad at commentating new things because i don't know what to say maybe i should just shut up and play hey that rhymed okay all right heading over to the vantage point near mission row there is a man in the police station a a gang a gang well, sorry a uh gang man person i think yusuf not yusuf i'm so lost already i think the man i'm talking to jamal said he was part of the ballers and if we go ahead and rescue him break him out of prison we can go ahead and get a tip off about a gang boss that has this car so we have this initial setup mission don't know how many more missions there are going to be but considering the payout i imagine there's going to be about three setups and then maybe it's the stealing of the car again i'm assuming i like to assume a lot even though i don't know what the hell's going on I deal with it i also don't know why i'm still using the panto let's let's just use a, a more normal thing okay so the vantage point is up here Okay, so it's like a proper heist scope out mission, similar to the Diamond Casino at the start. Taking a picture of the helicopter, send it to Jamal, taking a picture of the ventilation system, I think up top, and then the other side of it. And I've somehow been spotted. I didn't even do anything. What do you mean? <laughs> I've literally just been flying around. Why? Okay, I'm assuming that's coded to happen because I literally did f***ing nothing. But photographs are done. We're heading back to the chop shop now or are we uh, doing some more? Okay, back to the yard. So pretty simple setup. First scope out mission done. Or I imagine the only scope out mission, I would hope. And we have this here. I'm interested to see what this is going to be used for. And no, I'm not stupid. I understand it's used for towing a vehicle. But I just mean like how. Is it going to be used every single mission for specific missions? I, I mean intrigued because i spent a million dollars on it and i kind of want it to be useful oh okay so we have two missions we can do and then one optional mission so it genuinely is like a mini heist for individual vehicles okay so we have to get a police maverick i'm assuming that means get it uh, and some tactical gear and then we can also do an optional mission to disrupt equipment i'm probably not going to do that because i'm lazy but we'll get on with the other two Bye, Jamal. Yeah, I know it's a new DLC. I still can't be bothered listening to GTA NPCs on the phone. It's not really my drift. If you want to do it, go play yourself. All right, hacking into a signal box to seemingly check if someone else is committing a crime so we can steal a helicopter. Seems like a really weird roundabout way to do it, but you know, sure. Oh, it's one of these again. I have to do math. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Weasel news breaking. Officers deem bomb scare to be a false alarm. Cool. Mate, you don't need to send me the location. I know it is. It's the mall. It's, it's pretty It's pretty obvious where it is, mate. Uh, Jamal. I feel like I'm working with another idiot here. Can I get, like, another competent business partner for once? Like, Franklin's, like, the only one I can think of that's, like, actually good at what he does. And even then, he doesn't even help you. He kind of just sits in his office smoking all day. Which I kind of respect, but, you know, still. Access the roof? Well, I'm on here already. I'm assuming this is meant to be a lot more difficult, but considering I have an Impressor Mark II, a little bit easy. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> then again, I don't know what Rockstar would be thinking. Most people that play the game at this point 
to have some sort of flying vehicle. So I don't think that's meant to be difficult, but sure. All right, just going to wait for the cops to piss off now. And then we drop this off somewhere else. So far, it does seem like the setup missions for this quote unquote heist are very, very quick, which I do like. The interesting thing is going to be how long does the final mission take? And then how long is the cooldown? Because obviously the auto shop, which is kind of a similar business in my opinion, has really good money making methods, but there is a bit of a cooldown in terms of like you can't play the same mission back to back all at the same time. And I just got spotted again because I was talking shit. God damn it. That's annoying. Can I call Lester in this mission? It's technically open world, right? Surely I can call Lester. Well, I can call him. That doesn't work though. God damn it. Mate, why is this helicopter following me so intensely? Piss off, lad, please. Dude's actually chasing me down. Look at him go. Okay, I think he's slowly losing me. How did I get seen? The, <laughs> what? Oh my God. This is okay. You know how I said that this wasn't taking that long? Yeah, take that back. This is taking way longer than it needs to. Just, just way longer. Why is this like, can the cops genuinely piss off, please? Oh, not another heli. Man, stop. Just let me, let them go away. I do not want to be here all day. Thank you. God, that took so long. All right, so we're dropping it. Oh, is it literally just the helicopter landing place? Not very discreet, considering I've stolen this from the LSPD, but you know, it's fine. And now I imagine back to the salvage yard. Apart from the cops taking way too long to leave, not a bad mission. Pretty chill, to be honest. On to setup number two, which is the gear or the, the truck or van or something. I, I forgot, to be honest. Mate, you're right here. Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? You little scallywag. So next setup mission is the van of sorts. Okay, tactical gear. That's what I mean. Do I just kill them? Maybe I should have done this stealthily. Oh, well. Locate the tactical gear. Okay, this should be easy if I had armor, which I don't. Yeah, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Okay, is that everyone now? I think so. So how do we check for the tactical gear around the back, is it? Search the right van. Nothing in there. Thanks, game. I didn't f***ing realize I don't have eyes, apparently. No shit, it's empty. What do you mean? Wow, another empty riot van? You gonna make sure I, I know that? Wow, crazy. Who would have thought? Would never have guessed that in a million years. Oh my god, another empty one? I wonder what it's gonna say this time. Oh my god. Can you taste the sarcasm? Is it palpable? There's my tactical gear. And I assume I drive it out. How exactly do I leave? Okay, I literally just drive out like that. Cool. Um, I was getting shot at. Not really sure how that works, but sure. Not going to complain. Okay, and no cops this time. Surprisingly, even though this was like very much the most obvious like robbery out of all the ones I did. No cops. I have enemies, but no cops. Strange choice by Rockstar. But once we deliver this, we should be able to go ahead and steal the car. Or we taking the guy out of jail first and then... Oh my... Why did I bounce so much there? What the hell? Um, back to what I was saying. Or we getting the guy out of jail and then stealing the car. I'm not really sure what's happening. Then again, when am I? Once again, I don't really understand the whole concept of the fact that I'm the boss of these businesses. And yet I also do all of the grunt work. It's a bit strange. So what can we do now? This is an optional mission. So... Oh, oh, I have to do tasks as well? Bro, this takes, so you have a scope out mission, you have two planning work, and then you have to get getaway vehicles, stun guns, a weapon stash, and two more optional missions. Jeez, these take a bit longer than I thought they would. Okay, well, getaway vehicle, let's go. Um, wait, what? Is it just in the free room? That must be the case then, because you can't click on them. Uh, so I'm assuming they'll be on the map somewhere. Oh, okay, there we go. So masks, which are optional. We have the bags there. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you, s you're gonna make me go to Polito for the, oh. Oh, I was so happy about this being like a really, really quick and easy way to make money, but you're gonna make me go to Polito? Dirty company, Rockstar. You dirty, dirty boys. And not in the sexual way. I'm just very upset with you, to be completely honest. Well, I'll see you in Polito. Okay, equipment required for the robbery is here. Press that to connect to Jamal and begin stealing a get... Sorry, why do I keep saying gateway vehicle? A getaway vehicle for the gang banger robbery. What are we doing, Jamal? Breaking into the garage, okay? Kind of reminds me of one of the missions you do for... Oh, what is it you do this for? I can't remember, who cares? <laughs> My memory is so faded, to be honest. So I assume we're killing people? Has just no one noticed me yet? Okay, I was, <laughs> I was gonna say, what's happening? Why can no one see me? No, not behind me, please. Ow. Why the f do I have my grenade launcher out? I, I did not do that. I'm sorry. Do I have tear gas? I do have tear gas. Oh, that could be useful. Go, tear gas, go! Make them cry. Are they gonna drop like flies? Uh, some of them seem to. You're not, though. There we go. And neither are you. 
So I can pick which one I want. I can choose any of them. Ow, okay, I'm killing myself. That's probably not a smart idea. Uh, I'm gonna go with the orange vehicle because that's my favorite color and it just looks the coolest as well. I kind of like the, oh my dude, why does Rockstar always do this? They force you to get into the vehicle and then spawn enemies when you're inside and can't do anything against it. That's just such garbage design from them. It's so dumb. But no, like I was saying, I do kind of appreciate the fact that you get options to choose which getaway vehicle you like. So if you want something more tanky, if you want something faster, it's a nice, it's a nice little addition. It's nothing special, but I do respect the option. And now I'm driving 10 kilometers in this thing. Great. Yeah, these missions are definitely taking a lot longer than I thought. I'm going to be really interested to see what the math is behind this business once people have figured out the best way to do it. Is it actually going to be efficient? Is it going to be something that can be done instead of the auto shop? Is it even better than the auto shop or is it just kind of shit? So far, I'm leaning towards thinking it's a bit worse than the auto shop purely because the setup missions seem to be taking longer. Like, for example, if you did the union depository contract, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, if you did the union depository contract, you get 300,000 for that, which is about 50,000 less than this however you can do it within like 20 minutes i've already been doing this one for like half an hour yeah make of that what you will but then again one thing this business has the auto shop doesn't have is that passive income with the safe obviously i didn't buy it because i wanted some leftover money but with the safe who knows possibly that could actually be quite good or maybe similar to the level of the nightclub where you get a bunch of money from it so there's a lot of things we need to work out as a community i'm not going to be part of it because i hate math but I i'm sure someone else will oh animal Oh, I completely forgot about that. They've added animals into GTA Online now. I, I nearly ran over the first one I saw. Kind of glad I didn't because that would be, uh, you know, concerning having Peter on my tail. But, uh, you know, we're good. So I don't know what type of animals there are. I'm assuming they'll be like cougars, maybe dogs and cats. I'm not completely sure. Maybe some birds. I have not checked at all. But it's nice to see. It brings a little bit more life to the game. About six years too late. But hey, uh, A for effort, I guess. Although the one thing I do worry about is the animals. It's just another thing Rockstar can cover to run in front of you when you're driving and that's just going to be more of an annoyance than anything so again take of that with what you yeah i should stop speaking i ain't cut out for it it's ironic i say that and i'm going to start a podcast but oh well okay so we have one of three locations we can stash this at does it make much of a difference i'm going to assume probably not i think i'm going to go for here though just because it's a bit more out in the open easier to get to possibly but it will be interesting to see if these locations do make much of a difference to the actual heist like i'm sure if there's better strategies there's a possibility for it but i'm sure this will be fine does that not count are you serious mate i'm in the circle what do you mean okay that's one of three tasks done we have another one pretty much right next to us let's go ahead and do that one and we're at simeon's oh yes my boy and by my boy i mean fuck simeon hi jamal where are we going hi jamal Goodbye. Mate, I hung up on you the first time. What did you think was going to happen the second? Come on, man. Okay, entering ammunition. Probably shouldn't have my gun out. That would be a bit too suspicious. And to locate the unmarked weapons. Oh, wait, where are they? Oh, lovely. Can I take them? Thank you. Stash them under a dumpster behind the precinct. And you raise suspicion if you're here too long. Cool feature, I guess. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all, mate. <laughs> You can see it so blatantly obvious. No oh god, if there's a single detective around, we're screwed. And now the last one is over on the beach. So let's go ahead and do that. Also new HSW time trial. Lovely. I'll probably do that next episode because we're focusing on the new business and all its fun and joyous glories. Are you enjoying its glories right now? Leave a like if you are. And if you're not, I don't know, click off the video, man. Like, Look for the car with the license plate 21 cmm 287 Steal the stun guns and deliver them back to the salvage yard. And that should be it. Okay, and enemies it's, it's fine mate i'm on a flying bike you're not gonna catch me but that should be it for all of the prep missions and setups and everything there are two more optional ones masks and i think disa disabling some sort of something again I'm too lazy to do that. So we're going to get into the final mission or what I assume to be the final mission. Maybe there's one more after this. The whole entire setup of this thing is kind of confusing me. I can't lie. Maybe it's because I have a small brain. Maybe it's because Roxxon made a bad decision. You decide. Stun guns acquired and we should be good to go now. I think at least. I don't know why we wouldn't be. You know, I feel like I should probably buy body armor before I start this. Oh, well. All right. Into my police helicopter that I definitely obtained using legal methods i would also assume that the cars that get you less money at the end probably have less setup missions at least i would hope so otherwise then there's literally no point to doing them i would hope that's the case though because if you're doing a car that gets you 400,000 compared to one that gets you 250 and they take the same time then like what is the point at all it'd be really stupid if that was the design hey mate shit i missed uh, uh what, huh excuse me there we go okay one there did that work nice can i throw it from down here i feel like i need a better angle yeah i need a better angle 
There we go. I doubt I can get it from here. Oh, I did. Impressive. And the final one. Try again. Try again. Try again. Try try again. Why is this so difficult? Go into the goddamn vent. Bro, please. <laughs> Go into the vent. Go into the vent. Go into the vent. <laughs> How the hell am I meant to get it in there? I'm so confused. Can I climb on this? No. What the f game? Why <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Okay, I didn't think the most difficult part of this mission would be throwing gas into a vent. This is ridiculous. Seriously, Rockstar, what? Nah, come on, bro. Dude, are you serious? There's nothing else to climb on over here either. Oh my god, work! Oh my... Finally! How many did that take? Holy shit, someone count. That was embarrassing. I'm definitely not making the Little League team now. Hey, mate. Are you... Haha, <laughs> really? Hi. Ow. There are the keys, though. You wanna pick them up, mate? I'm gonna go first person here. Might just be a bit easier. Ow. Oh my god, I really should have got body armor. Code blue. I don't know if that's a reference to anything, but code blue, baby. Uh, how do I get you out? There we go. That did not go in the keyhole. That very much did not go in the keyhole at all. That very much missed. Um, <laughs> what? Ow. Is he acoustic? Get me my weapons, please. How the cops didn't see these weapons, I'm not really gonna ask. Also, what the hell are these weapons? Why do I have an M16? Go, 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 go. Tiny, please do not die on me. Tiny, where the f*** are you, my guy? What are you doing? Tiny, I, Tiny, I swear to God. Why are you standing in the middle of the cops? Tiny, you're going to die, Tiny. Tiny, what are you, Tiny, what are you doing? Get in the f***ing car, you idiot. Oh my God, Tiny, Tiny, bro. You just stopped following me for some reason. Are you moronic or something? Oh my, uh, the mission's over. The mission is over. Tiny, what the f are you, are you dumb? Are you actually dumb? Why, huh? Ow. Tiny, if you don't get in the f car this time, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh my God, this dude's actually an idiot. That was something special. My God, why did he not get in the car? He just stood out in the middle of the open, like just waiting to get killed. Well, I'm gonna get found. Yup. Gonna be honest here, lads. I don't really know how I'm supposed to lose four-star cops when there are this goddamn many of them. Because, oh boy, there are a lot. Like, a, a lot. A lot. What exactly do you guys expect me to do in this situation? Like, yes, I can always go to the sewers, but that kind of feels like a cop-out. Yep, they still see me. What a surprise. Bro, what the f*** am I supposed to do? There's so many of them. Oh my f- Oh my god. There's too many to escape. With the helicopters as well, man, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I'm f***ed. I am royally f***ed. I am royally f***ed. Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh my god. This is so screwed, man. How am I supposed to get out of this situation? Do I genuinely have to go to the Ellis sewers? Is that the only way I can, like, get the cops off me? Because this is ridiculous. I know I complain a lot, but, like, come on, man. This is such dumb design. I literally can't- uh, There's no way to get them off me. The only way is to go underground. That feels like a cop-out. I can't just go underground every single time cops are on me. Can I? That seems a bit shit to me. Can I get them off me in here? Apparently not, because they still see me. Okay, there we go. Now we just wait and hope. I'm not going to move if they find me. Hey, it was God's plan or something. I don't know. Oh, thank God. Thank God. That was way too stressful. Unnecessarily stressful. Okay, I probably don't actually want to go in the tunnels. Seems like a waste of time. All right, Tiny. Here you go. You'll drop off my guy. Now, please tell me where the car I need to steal is. You, you going to tell me? I think he forgot to tell me. Also, the roses aren't moving. Or at least some of them weren't bit strange. Infiltrate the Vargos hideout. Once again, probably should get some body armor. And I'm not going to be an idiot this time and, and not do it. This is this is serious stuff, boys. I, I need some protection. And not the sexual kind. I do not get woman. Please be open. Oh my fucking god, I have no body armor. It doesn't seem like there's a life limit though on these missions. At least there's no countable one in the bottom right. So I assume you can die as many times as possible as long as you complete the mission. Which is a positive, in a sense. Because, you know, without body armor, I'm definitely going to die again. But as long as I can complete it, it's not too much of an issue, I guess. That is like one big benefit of these missions so far. There's a bit more leeway on that sort of thing. But Vargas hideout. I thought it was going to be indoors. It's just outside. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get on this house. Did I just phase through the f***ing door? Oh, perfect. I can't get up here. This weapon is ass, man. What? What is this?
and the Turismo Omaggio should be in here. Oh, that's a lovely livery. I'm a fan. That looks nice. Now, this is the new vehicle, at least the big new vehicle with this DLC. Let's see how it drives. Oh, that is quick. And I've crashed already. What a good start. You know, it's not the quickest car in the game, or it doesn't feel like the quickest, but it's pretty decent. I also assume this is like the unupgraded speed, so I imagine it would get faster. Has pretty good handling, very, very, very smooth. It looks nice, like I think this is a f fantastically designed car. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, that's all I have to say on it. I'm not much of a car guy, so I can't give you more details, I'm sorry. Car look cool, that is basically the extent of my knowledge. But with that, we should have a mission done. The heist done, the contract done, I don't know what this... Is going to be called, but it's done. Is that the tequila I stole from El Rubio? Bro, why is my hair shit again? Oh my god, just leave the helmet on for Christ's sake, man. So what happens now? The vehicle acquired from the robbery can now be sold to Yusuf or salvage for parts. So we got $20,000 for doing that, for completing a few challenges, and now we can decide to sell it for a small amount of money or a higher amount of money. I'm interested to see what that means. So we can sell it for $395,000 or salvage parts for $316,000. And you can also sell multiple. So that's kind of like this see your car business where you can do multiple at once. I'm assuming what you can probably do then is stack up maybe three of these cars, maybe a few more, and sell them when this business goes on double money. And that's how you're going to make the most money with this business. But for now, let's go ahead and sell it. Just regular sale. I'm assuming this is maybe when we use this truck. Let's see though. Nope. We haven't, we're not, we're not using the truck. What the fuck is the point of it then? I spent $1 million on that thing. Is it just for fun that i spend a million dollars on a tow truck so i can have fun is that is that what's happened here now the only thing i really hope for is that rockstar doesn't spawn enemies while doing this because that is my biggest complaint with the ceo warehouse vehicle warehouse is that they spawn enemies when you're trying to deliver vehicles and it takes off the payment as you can see in the bottom right there i can get a max of 395,000. of course if i damage the vehicle that's going to go down and if they spawn enemies on me it's really going to go down. So far, so good. Although I kind of don't want to jinx anything because knowing those slimy boys over at Rockstar Studios, they'll definitely pull some shit. Okay, we're looking good. And this spot is being used once again for more sale missions. Okay, Rockstar getting very unoriginal now. Even the same cutscene. This cutscene has been used in, I think, three different sale missions now. They're definitely running out of ideas, aren't they? God damn. But $395,000 in the bank. Okay. That was, uh, not too bad. I've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes. I think it took me about 10 minutes to get to the thing. And then, of course, you have to factor in the cutscenes. So we can assume that one of those missions, at least the more expensive cars, takes around 40 to 45 minutes. Shut up, Yusuf. So 40 to 45 minutes for, what, $395,000 at the top end? Is that worth it? Honestly, it's not terrible. And with Kaya Perico being on a big cooldown nowadays and... Honestly, people just getting bored of doing the same methods over and over. It is something new, which I don't mind too much. Now, we actually have 465,000 here. I don't know how we got more money. I know we got 20,000 for the final heist. Maybe we got a few other bits of money here and there that I don't remember collecting, but there we go. $495,000 from various means to do with the business in that amount of time. Not terrible. We're back up to $2 million. I'm, I do want to go ahead and buy that car that we stole in that mission because it is the new supercar, the Grotty Turismo Imagio, but sadly we need about $800,000 for the base car and then obviously more for any sort of upgrades. And while I would like to continue playing today, I think it'd be best to get this video out considering it is 10.30 at night and I do want to sleep. So I was about to go ahead and end the video, but I came back to my order shop, sorry, not order shop, very similar things, to my scrap salvage shop, chop shop, you know what I mean. And I wanted to go ahead and get in this truck just to drive it around a bit, test it out. And then I saw a new feature that I didn't realize was a part of the salvage yard. And that is launch tow truck service. So apparently when you buy this tow truck, you can recover a vehicle and salvage parts for it. We can also uh, make this a different color, which I kind of want to do. I don't have many green vehicles, so I'm gonna do that. Nice lime green. But we can launch this. I'm assuming you don't get that much money for it. Maybe it's very similar to the thing you get for the bunker where you get $50,000 and you can do it every so often. Let's go ahead and check it out. Jamal, goodbye. Go to the baller's location. Okay. Okay, which one is the baller? That one. Connect to that boy and back to the salvage yard. Oh God, this is much less secure than I thought it would be. <laughs> and I'm a much worse driver than I thought I was. Can I hit it from the back? Politely, of course. 
I can, good. Now, I don't have a damage percentage or like a, a financial incentive in the bottom right, so I'm hoping that damaging this vehicle doesn't make it less expensive, although um, it might. Okay, nearly back at the salvage yard. And, you know, no issues whatsoever bringing the car back. It's in perfect condition, boys. Perfect, perfect, perfect condition. Your staff have begun salvaging parts from this vehicle. The earnings from this will be added to your account once all parts have been salvaged. Okay, so it takes a while to do. That's kind of annoying. I guess I'll just leave the recording on until I get the money just so I can let you guys know how much this is. Okay, you can also see up on the left there, or you could see up on the left there before I got in the vehicle. Basically doing this every so often will increase the amount of passive income you will get into your business if you have that safe unlocked, which I don't yet, but I guess that is a good thing for passive income, I think. Yeah, another delivery done just for the fun of it. And by fun, I kind of just mean I'm waiting for the other ones to be salvaged. So there's not really much else to do. <laughs> And I can't do another one. I think it only does two at a time. Okay, well, we'll wait for those to be salvaged and sold. See how much money we get. Actually, I'm not going to do another one just yet, but let me check what else is on the planning computer. See what other vehicles we have. Okay, so we have to do all three before we get a new set of three. That's interesting. So the Grotti Turismo Imagio has been sold. Now we're going to do this one and then this one. And then I assume we get another set of three in a similar price range. I don't know how I feel about that. So wait, actually, let me do a quick little mental math thing here. So if we sell all three at max price, this one is 260, this one's 340, that's 300,000, 600,000, and that's basically 400,000. So for all three, you get pretty much a million dollars, maybe a little bit more with some of the extra bonuses you get throughout the missions. So pretty much a million for three of these. And I imagine it will take you just around or just under two hours to do it. So, you know, it's not gonna be as fast as your Kyos or, or as your Doomsday replay glitches or even the contract, but it doesn't seem like a terrible method to be completely honest. And I do have a safe actually. I didn't realize I had a safe. It's just not a big safe so i assume the regular safe holds up to a certain amount of money and then the really big safe you can buy on the website uh gets you more of course oh my god there there's a kitty it's garfield bro he's so fat look at him he's so fat why does the cursor turn red or the reticle turn red when i go over the cat rockstar are you telling me to commit animal cruelty i would never he's so cute if you can't tell i'm a cat person he's so chonky though bro he's so fat what the hell <laughs> why is he so fat he's unnecessarily chonky Aw, it's made my day. Not really, but I'm gonna pretend it has because then I can be happy for once. Okay, so I've been AFKing for a bit and you can see there your daily salvage yard earnings have been added to the office safe, a total of $12,000. Now I've done two salvage yard tow truck missions. I think that's what they called the tow truck missions. I've done two of them. That was about a 20 minute wait from the time I did these to that income. So I don't know if the income is entirely tied to the tow truck or it's also tied to these missions here. But $12,000 after one in-game day, and I assume this can stack even further, isn't too bad, to be honest. And the vehicles themselves haven't even been sold for parts yet, so I don't know how much they got sold for. Could end up being something like $50,000. I'm not really sure, but I will definitely take a cheeky little $12,000 right there. Ooh, Jamal. I can't hear what's happening. Jamal, hold up. So I'm currently editing this video you're watching, so that's why I kind of almost missed that. But we got $40,000 for salvaging that Debola. I don't know if 40,000 is the amount you get for every single vehicle, but that's not too bad, considering it took maybe six, seven minutes of work to go ahead and get it. You can get two of them, and not only do you get that $40,000, but they also add to your safe total. That's, that's a decent amount of passive money right there. Not too bad. Okay, that's it for this video. 